welcome to Aprons Off, the show where we stop cooking and just kind of hang out. And today we are all about that holy matrimony, baby. All about that in sickness and in health. All about that something borrowed, something blue. That's right, we're talking about the best wedding foods. Today we will we, we be saying I do, like Julia Roberts in that one movie where the bride runs away. What's it called? Away that can't be it. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> Sorry. 11? Nicole wrote a really great intro and I, I was did. trying to deliver it while memorizing it and I almost got there, but I'm still proud of it. But yeah, today we are ranking the best <laughs> and worst wedding appetizers and this is in part fueled by the fact that I, I know, <laughs> I know, am getting married and me and Julia need to plan a damn wedding and we can't get ourselves to do that because it's been over a year and listen, we're really busy. So I figured if I can do that at work, while making money, <laughs> the same theory behind why I poop at work, because listen, I'm on the clock. I want to get that skrill for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, boss um, makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be uh, talking about our worst and best wedding foods in ultimately trying to plan my own wedding menu. Wow. Ready to get to it? I'm born ready. Yeah. Why what? do you have me here? What? Because Trevor, you have the best taste of anybody in the kitchen. Right? Oh, that's so true. You're okay, young, you're right. You're right. You know? you're right. <laughs> and this is yours, I assume. Something cool, cutting edge, like sushi. That's me. <laughs> Whoa, who's she? Um, what? <laughs> you know me. Um, so I got married uh, last two years ago. I guess uh, 2021. We were there. Um, yeah. yeah, you guys were at my wedding. Yeah. I hope you had fun. I was ripping rum and pineapples. That's wonderful. Yeah. I'm so happy to Thanks. hear that. So, um, uh, wedding culture is a really big deal in in Persian Jewish American culture. Um, I go to like like a wedding a month. Is it like that a, infrequent, dude? I feel like you're at a wedding every, it's like on a Tuesday. <laughs> no, I, we only get married on the weekends because we like to rage, but not on Fridays because of Shabbos. But um, regardless, we uh, we do a lot of, we put a lot of energy and thought into weddings. And one of the most important things is the food. And the one thing they will always ask you when you walk into the wedding venue is, who's the caterer? Whoa. And it's a big deal. Mm. And they go, who did the sushi? Because we always have a sushi bar. From what region of Iran? <laughs> Is the salmon nagiri? Ba Baluch. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had sushi at Nicole's wedding, to be clear. And I haven't been to a lot of weddings, which is why I was curious why I'm here. Because I feel like I'm the youngest, and so I don't have a lot of friends that have gotten uh -huh. married. I said I feel like I'm the youngest. I am the youngest. youngest. In spirit. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's all about so it's all about the sushi bar. There's literally like a horde. You guys saw. There was a horde of people, right? Oh, yeah. 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 It was crazy. The they bar. swarmed yeah. it. Also, we're not a big fan of like hand hand past appetizers. Mm -mm. We like to leave it and you swarm and just don't talk to anybody and just eat. I'm not kidding. Eat, yeah. drink, and have a good time. Maybe mingle, meet a nice boy, meet a nice girl, you know. I met several nice boys there. They were super sweet. <laughs> yeah, 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 I believe it. I believe yeah, it. Yeah, really respectful young gentleman. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to have a sushi bar because it's, again, it, it just proves like how high, high class and how high caliber your wedding's gonna be because you have mm. raw fish hanging out. You gotta make sure it's all temperature controlled and like you're willing to pay top dollar to make sure your guests have a good food experience and that is what sushi is. This is a very common thing at really any is. Jewish function in LA is mm -hmm. like there's gonna be sushi at bar mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. And I, I, at least the one that I went to was a bar mitzvah on Shabbat. That's weird. Yeah, but like they didn't cook any food so they could be like Shabbat, or maybe it was before sundown. Mm. I don't remember, but anyways, point is there was sushi there because you don't have to cook it, so it's like Shabbat, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think sushi is a really, really good appetizer to have at a wedding. Hear me out. Um, you know what I don't like? No. Nah. Carving stations. No, nah, carving station BF, you can't eat it with your hand. Carving stations, they're stupid. They have, who, who wants to have mustard at a wedding? Like a bowl of mustard, a bowl of horseradish, ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me drink my non-alcoholic Hear me out though. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, what if somebody say, couldn't afford to serve several thousand dollars worth of sushi? You shouldn't be getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nicole's the grind set influencer who's like, there is no excuse for not having a Maserati by the age 19. <laughs> if you don't have a Maserati by age 19, you are stupid and useless and your pee pee don't work. No. <laughs> if you ask me if I'd rather have a million dollars right now or $10,000 every week, I'd say I'd rather give you $10,000 every week so that I can keep grinding and making money and be motivated. Why are you looking confused? <laughs> But what is this? It's soy paper hand roll. Hand rolls. Now, if you have a really good sushi bar, you can ask the guy, you're like, hey, can I get a hand roll, light rice, avocados? Sometimes they put toro in it. It's delicious. The hand rolls weren't an important part for me. 
We all grew up in very different environments. Yeah, it's fine, but whatever. So I think sushi's the most important and the most delicious and the most crowd-pleasing. It is very crowd-pleasing, it is elegant. I love eating sushi at weddings in the same way that I love eating sushi at Chinese food buffets. <laughs> you know, where it's like, I understand that this isn't you know the optimal experience, but I'm having a great time. Yeah. Is that canned tuna? Whatever. And you can, it makes the tequila shots go down real smooth. The raw I... fish, raw fish and tequila. I'm in. All right, should we, should we, get, to, should we get to yours? Yeah. How, yeah, yeah, okay, so mine is bacon wrapped scallops. <laughs> I've um, never had this before. Well, here's the thing. One, I wanna ask a question. Do you know how many weddings you've both been to? Over a hundred. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Over a hundred, yeah. Over a hundred? I know a lot, well listen, our, our community's very insular and we all know each other. And Do you know a hundred people? <laughs> no. No. Family gets married, family marries, you know, this guy's family, that guy's family. Yeah, typically fa families marry into another family. <laughs> Hopefully. Our, our community is really small and I've been to a lot. Yeah, I'm very lucky to be surrounded by Damn. a lot of lovely family members. And by me to all your weddings. Six. Okay, I was, I was feeling really dumb because I think I'm like at about four. That's not bad. Like as as like an adult, I think I might have gone to some like as a kid where it was like I didn't even know what a wedding was. Like I was just like sitting in a chair. Um, like my grandma's second husband, I think maybe in was El Paso, hot? Texas. Uh, Papa Ray was a good man. Papa uh, Ray. I, I respected Papa Ray a lot. Papa um, Ray. R.I.P. So you're related to Papa Roach, so. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, full, full disclosure here. When Nicole asked me, what's your favorite wedding appetizer? I Googled wedding appetizers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like top 10 what wedding appetizers. Heck? Cause I couldn't even think. I was like, I don't know. The only wedding that I remember eating like food at was your wedding. And there was like a billion things. There was like a quarter mile of just long catering that's of right. foods of all different kinds. And yep. I was like, I don't know if that's normal. So you had like five different international meat on skewers. You yeah. had like yakitori, you had some sort of like Brazilian barbecue. But yeah, we always skewers, had skewers. And then kebab. Yep. That was great. Are these gonna make it from your <laughs> Yeah, Probably. Can I jump in? Yeah. So this is a food that my dad I've never heavily had. fetishized. This was like my dad's ultimate example of what is fancy and high class. He called it ramaki. I don't know if there's any verification to that being an actual term, especially Japanese term. Why I don't like it. Why are you, what the hell? What? Nicole doesn't like it. It's, it's good gross. food. It's gross. I could tell, man. No, it's no. so good. What? The textures are, are making a mistake in my mouth. <laughs> I feel like though, this probably peaked in like 1963. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is like, you came home from the war, yeah. you're on the GI Bill, you got a lot of extra dough to spend, you know, 8% of people had college degrees, so suddenly you're making $19,000 a year, living the high life. All right, right. Bacon hold on. Scallop. Yeah, well, according to Google, Project, uh, most popular wedding appetizers, <sighs> bacon wrapped scallops is number seven. That's not yeah, based on data, that's not like a data-based thing. Yeah, it if is. you're getting married in Nantucket or something, but like, no, who eats this? <laughs> okay, no. according to New Jersey, Jersey Bride, Bride, New Jersey Bride, no, 10 Jersey, most the popular, popular the number one, bacon wrapped scallops. Yeah, I love eating the scallops. The people of New Jersey <laughs> love bacon wrapped scallops, <laughs> okay? Jersey. Yeah, I'm going to like three New Jersey weddings this summer. See, you had to go to a bunch of we're weddings. We're spending a whole week at the Jersey Shore, just like That's in between fun. it too. That's Come fun. find me at the Jersey Shore. Oh yes, can a... I can I have some, please? You know how they do that with those appetizers. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yeah, yes. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> here's mine. Mine is a taco bar. I've been to several weddings Great. with taco bars. Um, many of my friends do not have what some would call money. And so taco, <laughs> taco bars are a great way to feed a crowd in yeah. a way that, you know, uh, you get the carbs in for the yeah. dance floor. You know, it's, it's, it's still a little bit cultured. It's not like you're just serving a steak and potatoes. You know, like, mm -hmm. hey, here is fun, festive food. Sure. We're in California, most likely. Uh, and so that's why I love the Humble Taco Bar. Also, I can afford it. <laughs> um, did they have um, just this? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll put them up there. And they didn't have other options? I don't know because every wedding I go to, there's like multiple options. I've never been to a place that just What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Like an appetizer? Like tacos. No, there might be like cheese and crackers. Okay. But then there's like tacos. Okay. And you're eating the tacos. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Thanks for teaching me stuff. This is good. I, the this most good. recent wedding I was at was my friend mm -hmm. Kathleen. Shout out Kathleen. Uh, there wasn't, well actually, no, yeah, there wasn't like even like an appetizer like beforehand thing. Yeah. It was just like a taco bar. It was the like whole dinner. time? Yeah. That's the best way to do it. It was great. Yeah. That's it. And yeah, nobody's yeah. mad about it because it's no. tacos and you're having a great time. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I had probably like a liter of like uh, Jack and Coke. Yeah, oh, uh, I was that's up. Good. yeah, that's it was good. it was super great. Do you feel, oh, go ahead? 
You're sorry, your mouth is full. <laughs> food. Why is that? That has never stopped me before. <laughs> the point of food at a wedding is to simply soak up the alcohol so you don't black out, right? That is very true. All right, that's my, I'm still at that age where, well, I'm probably never going to grow out of that age because I'm a dirtbag, <laughs> but um, that's, that's the point. Yeah. Also, can we talk about the worst wedding food? Mm-hmm. Any entree. Any entree at any wedding is always going to be the worst. I have, yeah. I have it. Sea bass. Sit down sea bass. Is the worst? Yes, I agree. Why? Smells. Smells. <laughs> Makes a whole banquet hall smell like a fisherman's wharf. <laughs> it is not good. If you are thinking of getting the chicken or the fish, don't even have fish on your menu. I'm telling you, just go for Ooh. a vegan vegetarian option. The only fish, black cod. It black still cod, smells. Black, I don't care if it smells. I don't care if it smells. Makes your whole I'm being drunk enough to where I don't smell, smell the smell. You know, I don't like fishy smell. <laughs> you have to be considerate of like other fresh. people at your wedding. It's not just no. It's day. my wedding, and I'm a bridezilla. <laughs> it's everybody's day. <laughs> I'm a bride Mothra. I'm King Bride Dora. So I don't get Morgan that. got it. <laughs> I feel like Morgan gets all your references. We teed this Shut up with planning Josh's wedding, but I feel like this is just educational for me. <laughs> I've never considered any of these things. I've never even thought about it. I'm learning about so much. Marriage? Do you see yourself getting married? At some point, yeah, I'd say, yeah. yeah. I, I could eat this for like four hours though while drinking. Sam, yeah. Sam, Sam, Sam. No, this is great. Well, what did you just say? Nothing, nothing at all. Um, <laughs> so. Nothing is more menacing than you going, I didn't say anything, <laughs> and then sipping on a fake martini, to it's be clear. It's not even a martini, it's, it's just LaCroix guava. What is ours fake? What? I don't think you get brown liquids like this in a shampoo. Oh no, this is just NyQuil and soda. <laughs> That's a joke, YouTube, YouTube. That's a joke, it's Diet Coke. Um, so Josh, because you are getting married sometime soon, <laughs> yeah. Which one of these do you imagine yourself having? Pa- let's have. How about we do this? How about we do taco bar, sushi bar, passed out seafood appetizer? Like I'm passed out and getting seafood appetizer <laughs> shoved in my mouth. What are you talking about? No, like pass. I think, like hand pass. Hand pass. I think what I ultimately want to do at sweating, and Julia will have some say in it. I'm kidding, Julia. I'm kidding. <laughs> Julia, baby, baby, I love you, baby. Don't get mad at me. Uh, it's, she doesn't watch the content. Susan, her mom. Susan, Susan. don't get mad at me because you're gonna tell her about it. That's how Julia finds out. Susan texts her about it. Um, <laughs> No, I, I think we want to do just pure buffet setup. No hand passed appetizers, Good. you know. Stack all the food in a pile. Maybe yeah. get a bunch of pizza rolls and El Monterrey taquitos. Oh, yeah. Just stack them up, right? Yeah. I think that's what we've learned here is you just need, you know, food to, to fill up before drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, though, we, we have been thinking about a really in depth catering menu that tells the story of our relationship through food. <laughs> and so if there's any catering company I'm using, this shameless plug, any catering companies in the LA area who want to do a real in depth, cool menu because we reached out to one catering company with our menu and they just said, good luck finding another one and didn't even quote us an exorbitant price. Oh my God. So Um, we'll we'll figure it out. But this has been educational for me. That's good. Uh, In a way. So you want to get married in LA? Around, you know, somewhere California wedding, right? Yeah, yeah. Knott's Berry Farm. (laughs) (laughs) Will there be an open bar at the Knott's Berry Farm? Oh, oh, bro, come on. There will be an open bar regardless. I'm just making sure. It would be better if it was at the Knott's Berry though. And all... (laughs) And the roller coasters, they are going. We're getting married on Ghost Rider. <gasps> That's my favorite. Is that still, uh, no, there's no way Ghost Rider is still a roller coaster. Of course coaster. it is. It's got like I, Silver Bullet now. I went there last, like, like last year. It's totally. You go for the Boysenberry Festival? No. Do you go for the Fried Chicken Festival? No. <laughs> go I for just California went, I have Mining nieces, I have nieces. Hey, that's the bell. You know what that means. It's time to give one incredibly lucky fan the most prescient advice. Yes. Prescient they've ever heard. Can you define what does prescient? prescient mean? Somebody Google prescient while I read this. Does it mean like precious and relevant? <laughs> Is an Instapot worth buying? Will it just become a dust gathering unused antiquity? My turn? Antique. My turn? I yeah, go. yeah, you Okay, go. Um, I was gifted an Instapot by Instapot, thank you very much, and I use it, I used it yesterday. I made a beautiful, I made a green chili beef guisado with it, then I had tacos, and I use it like maybe once every two weeks, and I think it's a really useful tool because I just kind of set it and forget it. Mm-hmm. I agree. <laughs> Is it your turn? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, I think it's a very useful tool. I think it depends on like what kind of stuff you're regularly cooking. Um, I know for some people, like, a, just a rice cooker might be more useful, sure. like, as something, like, if you're just eating a lot of rice, like a rice cooker, you can, you can just make it in it. the Instant Pot. No, I know, but, yeah. like, I don't know what people are cooking in an Instant Pot. I, I have one, uh, it, never use it, really. Take six pounds of chicken thighs, two jars of Airdes Salsa Verde, dump that into the Instant Pot, close the lid, click 40 minutes, 
Open the lid back up. You got food for two weeks, brother. That's like eight million grams of protein right there. No, I love Instant Pots. I, it, I anything you could do in a crock pot that would take like five hours, you can just do in an Instant Pot. I love my Instant Pot. That said, if I'm like actually trying to make like a broth, like a soup, I used to do it in the Instant Pot. But well, that's I, cool. I don't like it as like much. Like pressure cook this? Yeah, right? But I, I feel like it, it always gets the broth like really scummy because it's in like such a rapid boil. And so now like, I've started using it less. But to me, it's still been a really good investment. Totally. Oh. All right, well, that's the show. Um, tell me what you think should be on my wedding menu and tell Nicole to, it's okay to say no to social engagement sometimes. <laughs> I know, I'm so tired all the time. Tell me to find more friends. <laughs> You're too hot to handle and so is your bakeware. Get a Mythical Kitchen Oven Mitt available now at mythical.com.